And good morning, everybody. Sunday morning. Actually, a pretty nice Sunday morning. Not quite as hot as we've been having. It is about 85 degrees right now. No wind. Pretty nice. This is Cruise Man, and I am uh, heading home from my breakfast. My Sunday morning breakfast with Don here at the Wake in Carrollton. And if you're new to the channel, sometimes I get on the bike and just like to talk. So welcome to Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. Today's topic is one that just seems to come up every year about this time for some reason. And that is, I get a lot of messages, emails, YouTube comments, Facebook posts, uh, asking my opinion about dark siding. Now, if you're relatively new to motorcycling you may not even know what the term dark siding stands for but basically it is the practice of replacing your tire on your motorcycle usually the just the rear tire but replacing the rear tire on your motorcycle with a car tire as opposed to a motorcycle tire and if, like I say, if you're relatively new to motorcycling, you may have never heard of this, or you may not know why somebody would do that. And I get a lot of people asking me, is this something that uh, I would consider doing, or is it something I've done in the past, or what are my thoughts on the practice of running a car tire on the motorcycle? And my views on this topic really haven't changed in the past, I don't know, 10, 12 years since I even became aware of it. I, I understand the arguments for dark siding. The argument is the tires are less expensive. Uh, they last longer. You know, you can maybe get 30,000 miles out of a car tire on the rear of the bike, whereas a motorcycle tire, you may only get, I don't know, on a Goldwing, it varies from 7,000 to 12,000 usually. Some people get more than that, but that's just kind of an average. So not only are you saving money on the cost of the tire, but you're saving money because you're not having to replace that tire as often so those are kind of the arguments for dark siding i think the arguments against dark siding the people who and, the, and people are passionate on both sides of this argument i'm not really that passionate on either side of the argument i have chosen for me personally not to do it not to use a car tire on my motorcycle but the argument against dark siding is that it's not safe. That basically you're, you're using a tire that was not designed for use on a motorcycle. A car does not lean so the sidewalls of those tires are not designed for you know how a motorcycle leans left to right. So a motorcycle <clears throat> tire has that profile where it's designed to, uh, to lean in a turn. And a car tire is designed to stay flat and turn like this. So, you know, the argument is that it's just not as safe because of that. <clears throat> and uh, I've also heard that the bead of the tire is different than it is on a motorcycle. And the motorcycle rim is designed for the bead on a motorcycle tire, not for the bead on a car tire. I did uh, talk to somebody at Wingding a few years ago, probably back in 2019. 
and he told me the story about how he was running a car tire on his motorcycle and I believe he said he was on riding the tail of the dragon I'm not sure about that but I, I think that's what he said and as he was leaning into a turn that bead broke loose from the rim and he immediately lost all the air in that rear tire. Now, he, he, I don't think he had an accident or a serious accident. I don't remember now. But he said it, it certainly got his attention enough to where he was never going to use a car tire again on his motorcycle. Now, I know there's going to be people that are going to comment and say that that story can't be true. Because, like I say, there's a lot of passion about dark siding. It's almost... It's almost like a religion with some people. They're very, very passionate either for or against the practice of dark siding. Um, I would advise, if you're considering running a car tire on your motorcycle, I would highly recommend, if you want more, you know, first-hand information from people that actually do this and know something about it, which I do not because I've never used a motorcycle, I mean a car tire, I would recommend that you check out Chris Caliente's YouTube channel because he's a pretty uh, passionate, avid dark sider. <clears throat> a lot of people uh, that do this, that run uh, car tires on their motorcycle, and a lot of them are on uh, that, that frequent his channel, and he has a lot. Of, he's been running a car tire on his motorcycle for. Uh, many years. I'm not sure if he does on his 2020. I think he has a 2020 Goldwing. I know on his previous Goldwing, he did run a car tire. I'm not sure if he does on his new Goldwing or not. But I bet he does. So, what are your thoughts on the topic of dark siding? Are you in favor? Have you ever used a car tire on a motorcycle? And what has your experience been? And please put it in the comments down below because there's a lot of people who are going to watch this that are probably trying to figure out if this is something they want to do and it'll help them to read your thoughts and your experiences. I don't do it. Uh, I just choose to run a motorcycle tire because I believe they were uh, designed for use on a motorcycle. Now, I've heard some people say that... Uh, the, the, your insurance if you had an accident and the insurance company discovered that you were using a car tire instead of a motorcycle tire that your insurance would not be any good that they would not cover you I don't know if that's true or not I I, I think it might depend on the nature and the cause of the accident if the accident were tire related that might be the case but if somebody pulled out in front of you uh, and you had an accident or somebody rear-ended you. I don't think of what kind of tire you're running. I doubt if they would even think to ask about that. But that's just me personally. I, I don't have any... If you're in the insurance business, let me know in the comments down below if you think that would have anything to do with an insurance claim. Um, I guess it could. It depends on the insurance company. Uh, some people have suggested it would void your warranty on your motorcycle. I don't think that's true either. However, I do know there are a lot of motorcycle dealers that will not mount a car tire on a motorcycle rim. So you may end up having to either mount the tire yourself or you may have to go someplace. Uh, you know, maybe you can find a motorcycle dealer or a, play, a shop that will mount the tire to the rim. But uh, I know that a lot of motorcycle dealers, and it could just be a liability thing. They don't want to be liable or held liable just in case. But uh, I do know that for a fact a lot of motorcycle dealers will not mount car tires on a motorcycle. So again, I'd love to have your thoughts on it. Also, uh, this next week, I will be out of the country. I'll be, hopefully, depends on the airlines, because the airline we're booked on right now is in a pilot strike, and they've been canceling all their flights, so I don't know if we're going to make it to 
to uh, Sweden or not. We're supposed to go to Stockholm, Sweden to uh, pick up a new a cruise ship uh, that we're going to be riding or actually doing a series of videos on for our other channel, Cruise Report. Check out that YouTube channel and if you're a, a cruise enthusiast, maybe you'd like to subscribe to that channel as well. We'd love to have you over there. And uh, hopefully, you know, if the flight works out we decided to ship our luggage because there's so many cases of lost luggage right now that we didn't want to risk it so we had a company ship our luggage and it's already in Stockholm it's already at the port waiting for the ship to arrive uh, so I think you're gonna see some uh, pretty cool uh, reviews coming your way and so you, that's why you want to make sure you subscribe to this channel click that little subscribe button don't forget the notification bell because YouTube will notify you when all these new videos come about. I've also been in touch with Honda about getting a 2022 Goldwing in here to uh, do some in-depth uh, analysis and review and comparison to my 2018. I think you'll find that interesting. Uh, hopefully that will happen when we get back in the country. I just, again, if you liked this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlog. Oh, and don't forget, ride often, but always ride safe.